Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. Time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time to reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... ...and a Capture Team helicopter. Okay, welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 2, the campaign mode. Okay, let's get ourselves a response center put down. Uh, it's looking like we're gonna need we more power. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Get that. Next step building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also, make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Yeah, I was ahead of her in that one. <laughs> I did play the first one, so I kind of know how to play stuff. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground. And even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Okay, let's take control. We can actually fly the helicopter. Cool. Now, let's see what we got here. Go locate the potential. It'll show it on the, on the compass. That's good. And then the aim mode. Hit R. And then you 
left click to fire. Okay, this should be over this way, over this hill or mountain or whatever. Okay, it's right down here by the water. was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge, and perhaps, opportunity. Well, they're going to be talking a lot. I'm not going to have much time to say stuff. <laughs> oh. in the air. I always like to play the sandbox modes of these game on these games, but it said something about trying to do the campaign first, probably because a bunch of stuff isn't going to be unlocked if you play in the sandbox mode right away, so we'll do the, sa the campaign and Delivery see how complete. it's like. Okay, we got the dinosaur in there. Oof, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx. But we can certainly help this one. Well, that really looks good. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Yeah, it's a fish feeder. That's good. That's new to the game. I don't think there was... I don't know if there was a fish feeder in the first one. I hadn't played it for quite a while. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. You really need that? A plan? I mean... I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Okay, it's okay. Let's see what we have to hit. Uh, left click. Check complete. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool. Let's get a picture of them. Are you seriously asking? <laughs> or 
Oh, that's cool. Pretend Good asking. Up. Okay, Claire. How about we add some of terrain to their pens instead? Better? Okay, let's do some terrain management on here. Okay, we can do forest leaves and fibers. That's probably going to be more for your herbivores and stuff, but they're going to want something more than just sand. So. Oh, put it in the water. I was kind of hoping that the non-water plants wouldn't be able to be placed into the water itself, but so you just got to be a little more careful. You can see there's a couple of the plants in the water. Oh, that's a big tree. That's good. A little shade for them. him making that noise. Let's see what else is rocks. So we need to put some more rocks down. Rocks. But, uh, let's get a couple of them here. And one bigger one should work. And no, let's not put it in the water. That looks good. This looks good. I like the, the animation is really good. Oh, we can do ground painting too, so we can do a texture of rock, which that works a lot better than just adding big rocks. Oh, he's eating on some fish down there. That's a lot. We've got to animation. monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Well, I really want to thank you for coming and hanging out and watching my video. I know there's a ton of these videos on YouTube right now from a lot of different creators. I really appreciate you coming and checking out my video. I have not watched any yet from any other YouTubers because I kind of wanted to have it all be a surprise as I did the playthrough for, for all of my subscribers and, and people that are watching my videos right now so we can learn together. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the game so far. Is it one that you're looking forward to playing, or are you just looking forward to watching? Okay, let's see if we click on the Ranger team. I think... Okay. Let's check these other slot. The helicopter... Deactivate, no. Um, yeah, okay, we can add a task. Let's do that. Okay, assign. Cool. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs resupply. running freely oh, around the oh, facility. Cool. Okay, player. so we can resupply the reports them. may be accurate, but they don't the paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs so on the, the loose. What needs am I missing? Fuel too, They're not so. angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Well, for 
now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Okay, let's get our helicopter again. Cool. Yeah, we'll do direct control for right now. You can just assign the task. We'll probably we'll get into doing that more once we get farther along into the campaign. When we have more things we have to be doing right now, we're be cool to try to head out and do it ourselves. transported. I don't have another place set up for them. I don't know if do they need us to drop them off at a facility or do they need us to drop them off in a paddock. I think uh, no, I don't think they're going to want us to put it on the platform but uh, I guess what we're going to have to do is just put it inside of the other one with the other dinosaur which we won't be able to keep them in here. Asset collection request because that uh, carnivore and an um, herbivore, so we uh, that would be good. <laughs> Let's think about getting this. Oh, that's another gate. We don't need that. We need a fence. Let's try to finish this fence off for this other paddock here. Okay, we got that fence done. Let's take a look at them dropping off the dinosaur right here. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to keep him in here very long. I don't know how he's going to react to the other one. They don't really have a... F it doesn't look like they have a herbivore feeder. I think it's strictly the plants that are in the paddock, which is really cool, because the... Plant eaters should be able to eat the plants, which that was one thing they couldn't do in the last, uh, last one. So I'm liking that. Okay, let's take a look at them. Yeah, it's lonely, so I, we're definitely going to need to get a few of the others. Let's get another picture here. Get some more money. Our status check. Well, fight has begun. Wrong button. We gotta get a look, take a look. Uh oh. Triceratops is getting hurt. Hopefully, it, yeah, it's running good. 
needs to get away from it before it gets hurt anymore. Let's go trank it so we can get it over to that other paddock. so you know when the next part Asset comes out. Check out my playlist. I do a lot of different kinds of videos. You have a great rest of your day. Up well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.